Today we're here with Glen Bray School and we're out in the domain um, with our CSI Pukekawa program. Today we found lots of cool stuff. And we found some interesting insects and took some photos on the iPad. CSI Pukekawa, which stands for Citizen Science Investigations, allows students to go out into Auckland Domain to record biodiversity for our museum scientists. We take a class down into the domain for one hour, give them a bunch of iPads, which is loaded with an app called iNaturalist. And this is a really important citizen science tool, which allows anybody and everybody to record uh, and observe species wherever you want. And scientists from all over the world can have a look at all these observations and can communicate with these citizen scientists. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pukekawa is the name for the Auckland domain and we've got a remnant bit of forest that's actually a pretty cool biodiversity hotspot. Even though this is a really urban site, it's in the very middle of the city and you, you can hear all the cars around you and yet there's all this life in the stream which is, it blows me away every time, it's really, really cool. For children being involved, it's a really good way of hands-on learning, so you're actually out there seeing real things. You can come into the museum and compare against real um, preserved specimens, but actually being out there exploring and using your curiosity to um, find all sorts of new things has been a really cool opportunity. Yeah, my group was so fascinated by the things they saw. It makes a big, big difference you know, looking at things real in nature instead of just looking at the books. Getting, getting the kids out there is quite special. Each time is quite different and the kids get to follow their particular interests. So some of them might be really interested in the plants and they spend a lot of time there. Some might be down in the stream with me looking at insects. Oh, yeah, it looks like a worm. Like, it's like, yeah. It does look like a worm. Yeah, of course it was you know, really good and great having the scientists with us because they became our guide as well and they sort of guided us through and some of the questions the children had, you know, they were able to sort of answer questions, yeah, and which was very, very good. My favorite thing was looking at different types of insects that I've never seen before. Yes, yeah. it's on here. Oh yeah, it's, it's a pepper tree. Students found a giant centipede, which was about this big, just lying on the track. Um, a few weta have been found as well. Good pictures of tui feeding on nectar. We found some different insects um, in the creek and like we found a snail and a centipede. Collecting those observations is going to be a long-term project um, that us scientists are involved with as well so chances are if, if you're out there as part of a school group or a visitor to the museum you might even see some of us in the field making some collections or, or doing some surveys. I think the benefit is that everybody is getting involved in this project, so not just scientists, but also communities and schools. And so when you have a higher awareness of what's living here, then we um, are able to take more action with maybe what our future problems might be. It was a very fun school day and I learnt lots of things. I thought this was a cool way of learning science.